Hi guys, in this video uh, we will discuss about how to uh, add the, the value value of the row in data table, right? How to how to update the update the row item value on existing table using the update row item activity, right? So for this activity uh, for this process. I would like to take one example. Actually, uh, uh, let me move to the UI part. Here, I have already uh, created one sequence and also added uh, build data table activity and added data also. This is the values uh, which contains the data table, right? So. I would like to here see here the employee ID is uh, 7521 right I would like to add them I mean uh, I'm giving the promotion I mean if we get if we get any promotion this person ward is right the ward the person got the promotion from the salesman to manager so I would like to uh, update the value sales for, uh, from the salesman to manager so this is the scenario to achieve in this video first see already add a build, uh, build data table active right already we added now we have to add for each row Click on plus button and type for each for each row in data table. Here uh, for each uh, for each row in data table activity it will ask for input. Actually for this activity input is DT. All data table right? uh, the data table name is DT. So my giving the data table name here. Okay. Right. I'm giving the data table to input to the for each row. In uh, for each row, right? If this is the current row is the one of the variable, right? This variable carries the uh, all values of the row, right? All values of the row. So for this, I would like to add the if condition. See add the if condition, if condition activity uh, to filter out the uh, employee ID seven five two one right. So for that, I'm adding if activity right. So here I'm giving the condition. What condition is current row? Current row EMP column name right EMP ID dot equals to seven five two one. I'm adding the condition here, right? So now I have added the condition. So now if uh, the condition is true then we have to update right for that uh, now I am adding the update row item activity in this row item activity it will ask three properties mainly that is column name that is column name num number means is by using the index value name means by using the column name value and row uh, which row do you want to update and the value so here i would like to go by the name so i am giving the column name right column name is job i have given now row row is the what is the row 
the the current row the variable name is current row i have added the value should be manager right see no error is appear here all attributes given correctly right so at initially it uh, reads the first row of the data table and it comes under if condition after coming uh, after coming to the if condition it checks the condition if for employee id is uh, equal to 7521 then azure azure this activity what is that activity update row data uh, row item activity right if not satisfy this condition it will terminate and uh, uh, that means uh, there is no updation operation will be done right only the condition is satisfied then only the update operation will be performed so now it, it is okay so we need to check right whether uh, the row value update or not right for that i am using output data table activity it will ask for input input is dt here output is in the string weight data type is string weight press control k and add the variable name str dt now i'm adding one more activity that is message box uh, which uh, we would like to display right and this is message box and giving the variable name variable name is str dt Uh, let's save the uh, process and click on run file let me check what is the output see initially uh, the employee id 7521 carries salesman right now it was updated as a manager right See, count the number of managers we have. We have three, right? One, two, three. Previously, we checked, right? In previously, we have two only, right? Let me open data table. See, the managers only two. Seven five double six, seven six nine eight. These two employee IDs carry as manager, right? so so we achieved as expected output right um, i am pushing this code to the uh, github of uh, if you need you can download from the github i am providing the github link in this video thank you for watching this video